On most of the Pacific Islands grows a reed-like plant. It is also easily cultivated. But like all plants are easily destroyed by no weeding. Men cut it in the field and carry it home. It will go through hot water to take off the outer skin, which is the real product. The strings of skin are hung to dry. The roof-dried inners are good fire starters. The dried skin is dipped in water to soften and then beaten to become cloth. This is a daily job. Drumming up the airwaves all day. From a strip of plant skin to a cloth. Two sticks of reed equal one cloth. Natural glue, gum from a certain tree, is used to paste the pieces together. It is also a natural insecticide and used against rats. Painting is done in three ways. Stenciling, printing and freehand. For printing a design is made by fixing thin sticks or wire or fish line to a net or heavy gauze like burlap. This is placed on a very big tree trunk which is the working surface. A cloth cover all the designs into one unity. A row of women sit on both sides of the trunk to handle the big mat. Then gently pressing over the print bed with paint cloth, the print is transferred. The backing is added and many hands needed to fold it. Job done. This is a trades product and on some islands a major income. From old x-rays, designs are meticulously cut out. Special earth is used for the red-brown color. Black is made from soot and kerosene. Sap from a special tree is used to fix the colors. Cloth is used like a brush or sponge. On a different island, two women painted this smaller version with bigger stencils. It will be used for a wedding ceremony of somebody in the family's child. Another island, another style. What started as a couple of lines on the cloth has grown with one by one stencil to be the centerpiece of this wall hanging. A whole community worked at this very big and intricate massy that was for a special government occasion. The designs can be as plain or difficult as the planner desires and are normally characteristic to an island. The big wall hanging had a designer on the spot. She would gaze over the cloth and print as it comes alive, then sat down with a very sharp knife to cut her small stencils for the continuation. On this 21st birthday she was dressed with this lovely yellow mussy. All special occasions are dressed with tapa and mussy. The big mats are often put out in the sun to air. All these ingredients can also be bought regularly on the market. That means city women can still do this tradition if they want. 
I made a memory dress from Tapa and for him a vest.